Hi everyone, I'm Ron. Welcome to another episode of Teslavian. With this episode, I'm going to start a series about Tesla's autopilot and full self-drive, starting with features, capabilities, and limitations of a standard Tesla autopilot, including some tips. Then I'm going to upgrade my Tesla to full self-drive and walk you through the process of upgrading and compare the before and after picture. And then I will showcase the new features that come with FSD and try them one by one. So please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, so I can share the upcoming videos in this series with you. With that, let's dive into Tesla's standard autopilot. You might be wondering what the different levels of Tesla's autopilot technology are and what comes with each level. Tesla cars come standard with what's known as autopilot, which consists of two features, traffic aware cruise control and auto steer. Autopilot can control your car's speed and keep it in its lane, perfect for highway drives or slow traffic, as long as there is no need to stop or lane change. It also does not follow the navigation system's path. The next level is called Enhanced Autopilot, which currently costs an additional $6,000. This version can follow the navigation path and even automatically change lanes when necessary. The Enhanced Autopilot cannot be used for city driving because it does not detect and react to traffic lights or stop signs, but it can navigate from one highway to another, following your navigation route. Plus, it offers the added benefit of auto park capabilities, which I will go over later. For those looking for the ultimate Tesla driving experience, there's the third level that is called Full Self-Driving Capability, or FSD for short. FSD adds traffic light and stop sign detection to enhanced autopilot and can navigate the car in city streets as well, while following the navigation path. Upgrading to FSD at the time of making this video costs $15,000 or a monthly subscription of $199 which also includes the enhanced autopilot capabilities. It's important to note that the FSD is still in beta and might not be fully available yet. All Tesla cars come equipped with a standard autopilot feature. This advanced driver assistance system is designed to make driving both safer and less stressful. Using Tesla Vision, Autopilot can detect the road and surrounding objects, a unique technology that you can't find even in high-end vehicles. Tesla Autopilot includes a suite of driver assistance features that makes your driving easier and more relaxing. You can enable the driver assistance features in the Autopilot menu. Tesla Autopilot also has active safety features to help you avoid collisions by monitoring the cars around you. If you are driving your Tesla for the first time or after some service visits, you must drive a short distance to calibrate cameras before using the autopilot. The Tesla autopilot system has two key features, traffic aware cruise control or TAC and auto steer. Both of these features can be activated when driving between 18 to 85 miles per hour or at a lower speed when driving behind another vehicle. Traffic Aware Cruise Control, or TAC, allows you to adjust and maintain your speed and distance from other cars. This feature lets you control the maximum cruising speed, as well as the following distance from the vehicle in front of you. When TAC is available, you will see the maximum speed on the screen in gray, which is the fastest your car will travel when TAC is enabled. You can set the max speed in the Autopilot menu. When TAC is available, you can activate it by pushing the drive stock down once, like shifting to drive again. The max speed icon turns blue and you can release the pedals, allowing autopilot to control the cruising speed. TAC does not recognize the traffic lights, stop signs, or other traffic controls, so be ready to take over at any moment necessary. To change your max speed when driving, simply spin the right scroll wheel up or down. To adjust your following distance, push the right scroll wheel right or left. This will change the distance between 2 and 7. This number represents the number of seconds it would take for your Tesla to reach the rear bumper of the vehicle ahead at the current speed. To reset the maximum speed to the current speed limit, either push the drive stock down and hold it for a moment, or touch and hold the speed limit sign on the screen. To deactivate TAC, push the drive stock up, or gently press the brake pedal. 
you can set the speed of autopilot when activated in the autopilot menu under set speed. When engaging autopilot, it can either start with the current vehicle speed or a set speed limit. If you select speed limit, then under offset section, you can select how much faster than the posted speed limit autopilot can drive. This could be either fixed, which is the exact miles per hour above the road speed limit, or the percentage, which means the higher the posted speed limit is, the higher the autopilot allows to drive. For example, with 15% offset, autopilot can drive up to 40 miles per hour in a 30 miles per hour road, or 75 miles per hour in a 65 miles per hour road. Auto steer is an addition to the traffic aware cruise control by adding steering assistance. While driving, a gray steering wheel icon appears on the top of the screen when auto steer is available. To activate auto steer, double press down the drive stop. Then auto steer icon and drive lane visualization turn blue. It also engages the traffic aware cruise control if not activated. Tack is always on when auto steer is on. As its name suggests, auto steer automatically moves the steering wheel to keep you centered in your lane. With auto steer, you don't need to constantly control the wheel. Instead, you can just lightly hold the wheel and scan your surroundings. You are ready in case you need to take over. If your Tesla does not detect your hands on the wheel, it will prompt you to apply more force. A light turning the wheel will clear the prop. If you repeatedly ignore these warnings, you would be locked out of auto steering for the rest of your trip. A larger turning force to the steering wheel will disable auto steer while keeping the traffic aware cruise control on. To change lane while driving on auto steer, turning on the left or right turn signal will disengage the auto steer allowing you to change lane while the traffic aware cruise control will still be active. Once you complete your lane change, you can reactivate the auto steer by pressing the drive stock down twice again. To deactivate both auto steer and cruise control, push the drive stock up once, or gently press the brake pedal. Auto steer must be enabled from the autopilot menu before it can be used and will be saved in your driving profile. Autopilot is a great convenience feature which makes the highway trips more joyful by providing a more relaxed driving experience and allowing you to enjoy your surroundings while driving. It also comes really handy when stuck in slow traffic, saving you from constant control of pedals and steering wheel. Having said that, with Autopilot, you should always be aware and ready to take control if needed. You can access the preview of the full self-driving visualization, which can be enabled in the autopilot menu. By enabling this option, you can see some additional objects in the driving visualization including surrounding cars on streets and parking lots, traffic lights and speed signs, lane signs and bicycles, stop signs, pedestrians, street construction cones, and trash bins. When driving faster than the vehicles in the next lane, you will see the moving arrows on that lane. This means that Autopilot has reduced the speed and is watching the next lane cautiously for vehicles that might suddenly change lane. Before each drive and before using Autopilot, ensure all cameras are clean. Environmental conditions such as rain and faded lane markings can affect Autopilot performance. If a camera is obstructed or blinded, Tesla displays a message on the touchscreen and Autopilot features may not be available. For low light or night driving headlights are set to on or auto. When auto steer is engaged, auto high beam is automatically enabled. Autopilot features may not work as intended when the road has sharp curves, visibility is poor due to heavy rain, snow, or fog. Bright lights such as from oncoming headlights or direct sunlight interferes with the view of the cameras. If you enable autopilot in city streets, it still can follow the lanes and keep distance from the cars ahead in with respect to city speed limits. But since it does not react to traffic lights or stop signs, you must be extra cautious and use brakes when needed. Another problem with using autopilot in city streets is crossing intersections. Since autopilot tracks street lines when it enters the intersections where there is no line or multiple crossing lines, it tries to make the best guess to find the correct lane on the other side of the intersection. 
But if the lanes are not aligned on both sides of the intersection, the autopilot gets confused and you might end up in the wrong lane. So as you saw, despite some limitations, Tesla's standard autopilot is pretty advanced piece of technology that is built in every Tesla car. And it gets better over time with upcoming updates. In the next video, I will walk you through the process of upgrading to FSD and show you how it affects on existing features of the car. So as always, thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so I can share the upcoming episodes with you. Also, if considering to buy a Tesla, you can use the referral code in the description below, which will save you a thousand dollars or more, and also will give you some free supercharger miles. With that, thank you and see you in next episode.